Let's look closer at our OVM FFD file and try to identify components uh, that we discussed in UFI design principles section. So first let's load again our OVM FFD. So top component is identified as a four megabyte UFI image, as we said before. Y4 max, uh, we see here, the full size is 400,000 hex. And um, typically at the top level, we see firmware device or whole file, which represent uh, what would be flashed into our firmware storage, so SPI flash, for example. So that's why our file is, is has extension FD, uh, just indicate to tell us that this is full firmware device. And firmware device is uh, described in UFI specification at, as a uh, design component. Inside a firmware device or inside this image that we loaded, we can find other components, uh, which are called volumes. Uh, so we can see we have three volumes here. And our top volume is uh, NVRAM. Um, NVRAM is a, is a special volume uh, related to storing UFI variables, which we will discuss later in this course. Other two volumes are containing a firmware file system version two. And that means that they just contain more files uh, that can be understood by, by UFI firmware. And those uh, of course are explained in UFI specification in way, way more details, including all the information that we see in the headers, recognized in the headers uh, by the UFI tool. So uh, what is important to know that firmware file systems can be nested. Uh, so we can see that in this volume, uh, if we unroll it, we can see there are, there's another firmware file system here and another firmware file system here, and those are under this top uh, firmware file system. So inside firmware file system, uh, we can have another volumes which contain a uh, firmware file system. Uh, how to figure out uh, what's inside this file system? Uh, we can take GUIDs, uh, which is volume GUID here, and we can try to look in our uh, FDF file, which describes content of the uh, FD file produced uh, during the build process. So let's go to the OVMF uh, PKG X64 FDF because this is what we used for building. And let's search for this GUID. And we can see here um, that there is a um, firmware volume, PEI firmware volume. So this firmware volume most likely contain uh, PI related files. And we can see um, below what kind of a priori file was used and what kind of modules we can find here. So we probably should find some PCD related module. We should find some report status code uh, related module and or pay core. So if we look inside uh, this, we see PCD, this is what we expected, report status code router PI. And so this is what we expected based on the FDF file. Um, as, as you can see inside, inside this uh, uh, pay firmware volume, we see pay modules, which are also a component de described in UFI specification. Uh, so that's, that's one type of uh, component. Um, we can also look into the second firmware volume, this one, if we will look at it in FDF, we will figure out that this is, this is Dixie firmware volume. So what would be expected here are Dixie drivers. And we can see there is Dixie core and there's runtime Dixie and various other uh, Dixie drivers. Um, you can ask where's the sec, so where's the sec phase? A sec phase is here and it's just, just one um, 
just one file. It's recognized uh, by UFI tool, but it's just one file. Uh, also, what is important, getting back a little bit to Dixie, that there are not only Dixie drivers here, there are also applications. And this application, UI, UI app is a special application because uh, this is our BIOS setup menu, which uh, will pop up when we hit exit from the UFI shell or, or hit some special uh, hotkey uh, during the boot process. And that would be it about uh, uh, design components that we can find in our OVM FD.